we are officially live. You have submitted all of your information into the MLS system. You are proud about it. Now the offers are coming in and you're like, oh my goodness, what are we to do, right? So I wanna give you a few nuggets on how to streamline this process. Again, this is just my process. If you have any questions throughout this entire time and you need a good point of reference for your area, your immediate person should be your mentor and always is your broker because they are responsible for you. You're starting to get offers, keep good communication and build a relationship with all of the agents who are contacting you. Some agents will contact you and they'll ask you a few questions about the home and if there's anything that you may or may not need to know. This is a time that you fill out your elevator pitch. Some immediately may find that, hey, it's just not a good fit and that is perfectly fine. But what you may have sometimes, you may have buyer agents who are Impressed with the home, not 100% sold, but may have the home in their back pocket or for consideration. So maybe write their names down and this could be a conversation where you can follow up and just ask them, you know, hey, is this home still on your radar? It all depends on the pace of the offers that are coming in. You never know what type of relationship you can build. You never know how you may be able to serve or do business with that agent in the future. But most importantly, as we focus on this sale, things can change. So that buyer agent, maybe they're comparing that home to another pre-owned home, right? So if it is a pre-owned home that they're looking into compared to yours, Maybe they're offer, maybe they're just a backup offer. Maybe they are still trying to decide whether they are not they're sold on another home compared to yours. But if you stay within communication, you can always just try your best to be on the forefront of their mind, right? And and agents like working with good agents. Um, you know, manage the process, don't manage people, right? Everyone's working for themselves and you just want to represent yourself the best way as possible but most importantly you're representing your sellers right so just make that experience um go smoothly and just be a team player for both sides because remember that we're all fighting to go towards the the finish line the same finish line determining what's a good offer each deal is going to be different right each package is going to be bundled different so there's not a, a one-all for you know an offer right it just really has to make sense so things to consider is whether or not it's a cash versus a finance something else to consider is the closing date um, something else to consider is the option period the different contingencies and this the because there's more than one uh, something else is whether or not the inspection will be waived. And the last is the appraisal. Will that be waived? So these are some things to think about. Again, when your offers are coming in, have that conversation or have that communication open with your uh, mentor or your team because you are going to want to bounce ideas off of them because they'll be not more knowledgeable about the homes that you're selling in your area and also you want to have confidence when you talk to your sellers because they are depending upon you to help them make a decision a lifetime a milestone decision as they transition their lives and sell this home right so yeah so offers are coming in again keep those things in mind but most importantly have you a solid partner or a mentor to bounce the uh, offers off of so they can help you decipher and go through what are good offers just so you can learn but at the same time understand before you have that conversation with your sellers you've went through all of the good offers and your sellers come to an agreement and there is a contract that they like and guess what the party is officially getting started <laughs> so who executes this uh, contract the offer typically it will be you 90% of the time it will probably be you it should be you the last agent who receives the offer and who wants to accept the last change that's who should be amending it so if a buyer's agent submits an offer to you and if your uh, 
um, sellers, they have no negotiating. They like the offer across the board and there's nothing that needs to be changed. Then you go ahead and you execute that offer. You finalize it and you execute it. So whoever is the final agent of touching that offer or any changes that need to be made on the one to four family residential contract on this page here is page nine of 11. I'm not sure if any changes have been made, but right here you put in the date, the month and the year. That's when you will send it over to the title company. Now that depends on if everyone agreed to go with the buyer's title company or the seller's uh, title company. And you CC um, the buyer's agent and also make sure you include all parties within the, um, the title company that has you've been instructed to. Now, let's say for an example that the offer um, has been received, but there's just one little thing that your sellers would like to change, right? So you verbally may have an agreement as you have a conversation with the, with the buyer's agent, right? And everyone verbally agrees to make a change. Let's just say, for example, if we decide to switch a closing date, or let's say if we've decided to switch the option period date or how many days, right? If we verbally agree to that and we already have an offer, instead of rewriting that full contract, a buyer's agent, they can make that small tweak and send you a brand new offer. But if you wanna hurry up and secure it, the best thing to do is, is you as a seller's agent, you can pull up the amendment document and you can go ahead and tweak that document and execute that final file. Parties, either parties can execute, but traditionally it's the, if nothing needs to be changed, it's you. <laughs> so let's go on to the next thing now that we have an executed contract.